All right. Here we are coming to the Mercedes-Benz parking garage, and look, they're doing some updates up there. All right, so this is going to be doing an updated video of the Schindler 3300 elevator in the Mercedes-Benz parking garage. I'm going to turn my camera off until we get into the garage because it's rainy, so catch you guys up later. All right, we have finally made it. This is the Mercedes-Benz parking garage here. And this is the Schindler 3300 elevator here that is still being programmed. And just I got a note from a friend whose name is Corey, who goes to the same school, who's in my same grade. This elevator is still being programmed, but this thing will be running up here shortly. I just wanted to tell you, when I last filmed this elevator, it was on testing mode. When I filmed this, like, last year ago, and then, like, a month later when I came to film it again, this elevator was put into fire service mode, as you saw in that uh, 2014 video I took back on December 12, 2014. Um, which is, yeah, it, it's that. Or, yeah, it is. can't really remember. So anyways, the reason why this elevator was on put on fire service mode, just I just got a, fr a note from a friend, is because this whole place is still undergoing construction, and, and, and there are... The reason why this elevator was running before is because this thing was on testing mode. And right now, this elevator is still being programmed. The reason why they put this elevator in fire service mode is because they don't want anyone to ride up and down or get hurt or anything while this building is still undergoing construction. See, this elevator is still not working yet. But I will try to find where that elevator is, so I'll see you in a minute. All right. I just officially found the elevator on level 4. See, that door right there is locked. And the elevator is open right there. See, this elevator is still being programmed. As you can see right there, the elevator's up on this floor. And they actually put some of the, added some of the floorings and stuff. The light is still not on yet. Look at this wall. Look how small this gap is. I've never seen this before. I'll show you. See, look at this. Look at this wall. As I try as I try to see this whole elevator, I have to like crush myself all the way over there in this small gap right here between the glass and the stone wall. This is this is really rare. I've never seen this before. Anyways, there's that elevator right there. And just as I I don't think I mentioned, um, a good friend of mine has a dad that works here that told me about this elevator. Look in the mirror, hi. See, this elevator is still being programmed. And the reason why they locked the store is because they don't want to come in while they're still doing the construction areas. They don't want people getting hurt or anything like that. So there is the view of that elevator. Once that thing started running, I will get you guys updated later. And I will post a face. I'll make a, make a Facebook post on it later when I get a note from my friend Corey. And also, Corey, if you're watching this video, this video is for you. Before we end the video... There is the view up on the fourth floor, and there is the fifth floor as well, which it opens into, which it opens up there where you can see to see to the inside of the big exhibition hall. It's pouring down rain outside, so I'm not gonna go out there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna malfunction my TX30 again. See over there, that is the Marriott Sugarland Town Square Hotel. That's Sugarland Town Square. There's the Texas Garage, 2150 Town Square Police Office Building. There is the 2245 Texas Drive and 2277 Plaza Drive. Alright, so that is it for the update of the Mercedes-Benz parking garage. The Schindler 3300 elevator. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day.